Left. Okay, straight ahead. All right, here we go. No, I think uh, at this point I got to fit it in just so that the uh, the axle and I can get the door shut. That's all I want to get in today. Well, I'll just let you stop whenever you want to stop. I'm just going to try to keep it. Yeah, because this is awfully wide. It's eight feet. That's nine feet wide. You got six inches on either side. Okay. I'm not that precise a driver. Those some things don't turn very good. Well, keep it close to this side. You should be all right. Go straight ahead for a bit. The back tires are going to hit the door. So, um, and your mirror is broken. Well, no wonder. Um, there's no way. But all I can try to do is push it. I'll try to push it over. Yeah, this tire, well, you're, if you went straight ahead right now, you'd be fine. You've got a lot, lot of room on this side. You've got a lot of room on this side. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, okay, a little bit further, okay, stop, what I just did, <laughs> okay, right now, Mike, um, the front end is going to swing a bit to the right, because of the way the tires are, so um, I'll, we'll really push it forward a couple of feet and we'll look again. Okay. Yep. Go left. Left. Okay, straight ahead. All right. Make it up as you go. So far, you've done mo all the steering on all the vehicles that I've ever put in here so far. Yeah, that's good. That'll work. I can't hoist it because it's in the wrong place, but... Yeah, no, I can't. It's bolted down. That thing weighs probably almost as much as this truck, so I, I doubt I'm moving that. Well, with that motor there, no. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. This is far enough. I just, I just, I have to get the cab off and a bunch of other things, so I'll probably end up pulling it out a little bit, if anything, and getting the cab off and uh, the roof, and then I'll start working on the frame. But uh, yeah, this is good news.
the only kind of burnout I can do, I guess. Yeah, it pushed right over. I'm surprised how easy it pushed over. Oh, but, absolutely. Yeah, pushed right over there. The motorhome chassis is back into the shed. Very easy to push in here. Fire truck, not so much, mainly because it's, it's a fair bit heavier than this chassis here. I was actually able to pick up the back of the motorhome chassis with the tractor, with the front, front end loader. Picked up really easy. There's no way I could do that with this truck. But uh, I knew that the truck was eight feet wide, and that gives it just a little bit of space on either side of this lift. But it's in here now. I don't have it in all the way. I've got to take the cab off first thing. And then start looking to see what, what we have. Well, this is an exciting time. Uh, my neighbor came over to help me. And he helped me put the chassis in first. And it's, you know, 20-something feet long. I was using the tractor, my little 30-horse Kubota. I was able to pick up the back end of the chassis and actually move, maneuvered it in here just fine without having to steer the wheels too much. Truck is another matter. You know, that thing... It's, it looks small when you're off at a distance. Without me standing in front of it for scale, you wouldn't be able to tell you how big this thing really is. It, it's enormous. Yeah, going to be a fun project. Anyways, the first thing to come off is going to be the, uh, the, probably the topper, make it a convertible, and then take the cab off, and then see what we got to work with. What's the best way to proceed? I'm looking at the frame of the chassis. And um, it's very light gauge C-channel. Is it strong enough for a truck? I wish it was. Maybe I can beef it up, because trying to use this one, it's probably at least twice as heavy. Um, but look at the section on it. That's way off the ground. That's probably a, a whole foot and a half closer to the ground than this one is. But yet, that's where it sits normally. Um, this is going to be a fun project. Hope you join me. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.